hello and welcome. In this Lightroom editing video I'm gonna take this raw file and I'm gonna turn it into this photo while explaining to you every step I do. I am going to go a little bit quicker here but I still think I'm going to take a little bit more time than I do with my 5 minute quick edits. So this picture was actually taken in the winter of 2013, so quite a while back and it's not the best picture that I've taken there but I still think the view is quite nice and I definitely think I can make something out of this picture. So first thing, definitely gonna raise the shadows by 100 and bring down the highlights by around 60. And I think the overall picture is definitely too dark, so I'm gonna raise the exposure, definitely underexposed in camera. But luckily, because I shot this in RAW, I have a lot of flexibility. And here would be before and here's after, it looks a lot better. Then of course just playing around with the other sliders, bringing a little bit of contrast in the scene with the blacks and also with the contrast slider itself. Don't want to go too far otherwise it really becomes a little bit too contrasty but just a little bit works pretty well. And clarity, I actually really like the plus clarity look in this photo color temperature will be very difficult as always in my winter pictures because there are so many different possibilities and hmm do I want to go for a bluish look here or rather neutral or maybe even a little bit warm really really difficult to choose but at the end I think I'm going to go for a relatively neutral look with just maybe a little bit of warm in the foreground so that works pretty well. Let me also adjust the tint, although I don't think I am going to change too much here. Maybe just add a little bit of magenta. And the last thing in the basics adjustment, of course, the vibrance. And in this case, I really don't think I have to add anything because there really are enough colors and enough blues already. So then I'm going to go down to the tonal curve and of course just bring up the highlight slider here and play around with the rest of these sliders and lastly the shadow slider just bring that maybe down just a hint. So once again because it's not the full blown tutorial I'm not gonna cover every single tool here but I am going to play around with split toning and I just want to see if I want to add any color here. I am really not sure if I do but let's see here. If I am going to add anything that it will be definitely into the orange tones and in this case Maybe just a little bit of orange tones might actually work. Yeah, something like that I think works pretty well. So detail is of course the other thing. I'm going to go relatively quick here as well. Just bring up the color noise reduction to around 80. That's kind of my regular value. Noise reduction, really don't think it's needed, but sharpening. I'm going to add around 60 sharpening. And of course bring the masking slider to the right. Then lens corrections, also doing my two basic things here, remove chromatic aberration and enable distortion removing, great effect and then I'm going to go down to the effects tools and add some vignetting here in the picture, really don't want to add too much but just a little bit I think works pretty well before any vignetting and after. So I think I'm already done with the global adjustments and in terms of local adjustments I just want to grab a graduated filter and pretty much just drag it over this entire foreground and just go a little bit into the minus temperature because I think it's just a hint too much yellow there in the snow and I like that a little bit better. Then I'm also going to grab another graduated filter, just drag it over the very bottom and go minus exposure to close out the picture, just something like that. And I'm also going to try the same with the very top of the photo, right here. And I think it works, just want to make sure that I don't overdo that. And then as always, or at least in quite a lot of the cases, I'm going to grab even another graduated filter, drag it over the right portion right here, and just bring down the exposure a little bit. 
and grab another one, drag it over the left pretty much in parallel to the minus exposure filter and just go a little bit into the plus so that way we get a nice sense of differentiation in terms of lighting and it makes everything a little bit more interesting before any graduated filters and after just a little bit more dynamic and a little bit more refined. So I don't think I have to add any custom vignetting but I think just some portions of this snow right here are a little bit too bright so I'm just gonna grab an adjustment brush go down into the highlights and just kinda paint over these areas and then of course adjust it once again and I think that works a lot better before this little adjustment and after just kind of handles the reflection in the snow hmm actually I think there might be a little bit of a green cast in this photo so I'm gonna go back to the global tint and just add a little bit more magenta and I think that looks even better and then the last adjustment will be dodge and burning a lot of you have asked not to skip this dodge and burning part so I'm actually gonna leave it in so I'm just gonna grab the rail filter for that of course and first of all go into the plus exposure and I'm really not sure if I wanna add any big rail filters here I definitely wanna add some small ones on these trees just to kind of exaggerate the exposure there right click duplicate and bring a little bit more plus exposure to this right tree as well and uh, right click duplicate and just see if there's any other spot that may use a little bit more plus exposure maybe just like here in the water mixed with some clarity and then go down a little bit so it looks a little bit more natural and just bring some plus exposure right over this part and maybe over this part of the lake as well and yeah maybe in this valley back there so in terms of plus exposure I really don't think I'm gonna do too much but I am going to add a few filters with minus exposure so let's do that right here and I just wanna kinda make these dark parts a little bit darker especially in this mountain just to make everything a little bit more dramatic right click duplicate do the same thing with this mountain right here maybe even mix it with contrast yeah just a little bit and put another one over there and let's see if I wanna maybe add a little bit of these trees a little bit minus exposure in these trees just to kind of complexify the light and maybe even on this bench because that really uh, takes away a little bit too much attention and I don't really want this bench to steal any attention and maybe a final one just over this snow part right here so you really just want to exaggerate the exposure really just you know amplify the actual natural lighting you don't want to uh, for example drag a minus exposure filter over this very bright part like this because obviously it's not gonna look natural so you always want to make sure that you go with the natural lighting scheme if you add any dodge and burning so at the end I think I'm pretty much done here for this picture let's see before any dodge and burning and here's after just a little bit of a difference, a little bit more contrasty really not that uh, big of a difference as it has in some other pictures but overall I still think it adds to the photo so I think I'm overall done here and let's see the before and the after and it's a lot more bright, a lot more vibrant and a lot more dynamic I'm really just trying out some new video formats, you know, kind of going in between the 5 minute quick edits and going in between the longer 30 minute edits as well. So if you like this kind of new format, be sure to like the video. And if you did not like this new format, then dislike the video so I can improve my videos in the future. As always, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already for more photography videos like this one and lastly but not leastly have a great day and of course a great Christmas to all of you as well see you in the next episode and of course take care